Javante Davis responds to Devin Haney's demands to fight at 140. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. You can also catch me live Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And hit me up if you want to debate, man. Knock out boxing at yahoo.com. Join the channel as a member. Drop super chats when you come by the live streams. And super thanks when you come by the videos that we do. Um, let's get it, though. Yeah, so Devin Haney said a, a week or so ago, man, look, if the Tank Davis fight happened, it would have to happen at 140 because he got a belt at 140 and he don't care about the belts. I got it at 135. And since he fought at 140 before, the fight would have to happen at 140. And I'm not going to say I'm leaving 135. I would still make 135 for the right fight and the right money. So he got to fight Tank Davis at 140. Kenny Ellis was asked about this. Javante Davis is number two. You got Calvin Ford, you got Kenny Ellis. Those are the two voices in Javante Tank Davis' ear when he fights. Now, neither one of these guys have anything to do with his business. Neither one of these guys have anything to do with making contracts for him or negotiating deals for him. So let me make that clear. But they open to give their opinion. And so I'm going to listen to what I'm, I'm going to read to y'all what Kenny Ellis had to say about what Devin Haney said about the fight being at 140. And then I'm going to respond to it and I'm going to give my thoughts on it. So this is what he said, bro. He said, uh, I feel like people are trying to suck him away from 135 to protect certain people. We got unfinished business at 135. You know what I mean? If he can make 135, why can't he fight Tank at 135? It's crazy. He don't have any more power at 140. I don't see it anyway. I watched him tap the bag the other day. Clarissa Shields hit the bag harder than that. Then he says, uh, they've got to mention, uh, he says, they've got to mention Tank's name to sell the fight. You know how it go. They won't do that when they don't have a fight sign. Only when they've got a fight already. Then he says, um, I would prefer Shakur first because we at 135. Tank and Shakur are the two top dogs in 135. Hoping Shakur gets past his next fight. That's a tough one. But if Shakur don't get past him, we'll fight him next. Talking about Edwin De Los Santos. So let's, let's break all this down, bro. Number one, Kenny Ellis is entitled to his opinion. But I hold the same opinion of, of Kenny Ellis giving his opinion on, on the Tank Davis fight as I do Calvin Ford. You got to be careful when you're that close to the fighter because whether you have anything to do with his decision or not, people going to automatically tie you to him. So people that don't like Tank Davis, Devin Haney fanboys specifically, they hear things like this. They're going to act as if Tank Davis actually said it himself. Right? They don't care about the fact that Kenny Ellis is a trainer. They don't do none of Tank Davis' business deals. He don't negotiate not now and fight for him. He's just giving his opinion like you and me right here on this video can give our opinion. You can come in the comments, tell me what you think and all that. So his opinion is, as a grown man, obviously, and, and somebody in the game of boxing, I validate it. I, um, I take, I, I respect it. But at the end of the day, that's just his opinion of what he think is going on and, and what he think Devin Haney should or should not do. Um, as far as people trying to suck Tank away from, from 135, I mean, if I'm keeping it 100 with you, every name that they bringing up, this shit true, bro. This shit true. Let's just run it. Let, let's run it down, bro. So Tank Davis fought Mario Barrio. And, and I know y'all hate these facts, but we do it like no other and you can't fuck with it. But Mario Barrios and Tank Davis fought at 140 pounds June 26th of 2021. During that time, after he beat Mario Barrios, Tank Davis had a Reggie Bell at 135 pounds, the Super Bell at 130 pounds, and the regular Bell at 140 pounds. He had three separate belts and three separate weight classes, all from the same sanctioning body, the WBA. Please go fact check me if you think I'm wrong. I, if you think I'm wrong, I ain't talking fast. You motherfuckers, you got to keep up. During that time, the WBA said, say, bro, what you doing? Where you going to fight at? We need to know because we got to start ordering some of these fights. Tank Davis say, fuck it. I'm going to drop my 140-pound belt. I'm going to drop my 130-pound belt. And I'm going to campaign at 135 for the foreseeable future because that's where I'm comfortable at. I'm obviously not as comfortable cutting down to 130. You know, that's a, that's a hard weight cut for me. So I don't want to fight at 130. I don't feel as fast and as sharp at 140 pounds. 
I'm uncomfortable there, so I'm dropping my belt at 140 pounds, and he's been campaigning at 135 pounds ever since. Everyone in boxing knows this. Everyone in boxing knows this, right? So think about it. If you Terrence Crawford, you know this, what do you do? Hey, come fight me at 147 pounds. If you monster anyway in his fan base, you know this. What do you do? Hey, meet us at 130 pounds for the fight. If you Devin Haney, you know this. What do you say? I'd have to fight him at 140 pounds. Because he fought at 140 before. So he wouldn't even really want the belts. Because he don't care about the money. He don't care, he don't care about the belts. He would just care about the money from fighting me. He has always said he care about the weight that he fight at, though. But that'll just fly over your fucking heads, right? That'll fly over your heads. What Ryan Garcia do when he beat Javier Fortuna? I won't tank Davis, but I wanted at 140 pounds. What Tiafimo Lopez doing right now? I won't tank Davis, but I wanted at 140 pounds. So if you can't see the, 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 the validity and the facts behind what Kenny Ellis is saying is that these dudes is just trying to get him out of 135. How come, how come everybody around him is calling for the fight but asking him to compensate one of the most important things, which is what weight you fight at when he declare A-side to all these motherfuckers, but you telling me that they want the fight at the same time. If you want to fight Canelo Alvarez, you're going to fight him at the weight class he, he see fit. If you call out Canelo Alvarez, bro, and you try to call him out to come fight you at 160 pounds, you don't really want the fight. If you call out Canelo Alvarez and you try to get him to fight you at cruiserweight, you don't really want to fight. If you calling out Tank Davis, bro, and you trying to and you trying to dictate the weight that he fights you at, you don't really want to fight that man. You just want to pay that or you just clout chasing, and that's just what it is. So I feel that part of it, bro. The B side ass dude. I know y'all. I know that shit make y'all mad, but there's no way. There's no way that somebody in a position to Tank Davis should be compromising what they work so hard for. It ain't his fault he didn't work so hard to get people to come to his fights and they come. It ain't his fault that he 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 connect with fans in a certain way to where motherfucker buy his fights and shit, bro. More so than they'll buy these other dudes' fights. That's not his fault. But give him the respect that he deserves to say, hey, bro, as a fight fan, yeah, I want to see the Tank fight, but you can't be telling Tank what weight class he going to fight you at, bro. That's Tank Davis. You, you, you Tiafimo, you Devin, you know what I'm saying? We want you to get the fight because we think it's a great fight. We want you to get the fight, but we can't take you serious if you trying to fight this man and, and, and say at the same time that he got to fight you at the weight class that you say so. I don't think you really want to fight him then. Now, as a fight fan, I'm objective enough to take a step back and say, I hope that's something that Tank Davis would want to do is fight Devin Haney at 140 pounds and I hope it's something that we get because just as an objective boxing fan bro Devin Haney is bro he got a 0% chance of beating Tank Davis at 135 pounds he know it, his daddy know it, his fan know it which is why I don't understand why they won't just tell the truth, call him for the man to fight at 140 pounds but just say tell the truth, say that you just ain't comfortable at 135 no more to fight him at 140 pounds. You just telling on yourself, bro. But they don't want to tell you that. They want to always pass the buck cap and put it on somebody else. So we're going to play that game. You want to play that game? I'll play it too with you. But I hope that they can get the fight cracking at 140 because they got no shot, period. But it's, it's a massacre at 135 pounds. At least it might be competitive for a few rounds at 140 pounds. Maybe he'll have better punch resistance or something. But at 135, boy, that boy getting, getting walked through. Oh, watch me. Oh, watch me walk through. Like getting walked through, bro. But that can't go without saying that you don't dictate shit to Javante Davis in terms of a weight class, bro. And this is what I be trying to tell people. when they say, well, he the A side. He can fight whoever he want. The man has already showed that the weight is non-negotiable for him. It's non-negotiable for him, bro. Because he dropped his belts at 140 and 130. And Ryan Garcia made him come off his weight by one pound and got a rehydration clause and a catch weight put on his ass. But you know what people do? 
they blame Tank Davis. And I hate the rehydration clause in the catchway. Y'all know that. But what you miss out on is that if Ryan would have just fought him at 135, he could have hydrated up to whatever he wanted to. They put a rehydration clause and a catch weight on him because he didn't want to fight Tank at 135 pounds. So, and then you 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 think about what Devin is telling you. The fight got to be at 140, and I'm not doing a rehydration clause, and I'm not doing a catch weight. So, bro, you don't want the fight. You trying to dictate to this nigga everything. <laughs> you trying to dictate everything to this nigga. Say, bro, you got to fight me in my weight class that I want you to fight me in, and you can't do this, and you can't do that. You can't have all three, bro. You can't have. I'm telling. I'm telling y'all right. If y'all want this fight, he not gonna get all three, bro. So tell him to come off of that bullshit. If you really want this fight, some of y'all don't want it though. He not getting all of that, bro. You not finna get the weight class you want, and no rehydration, and no motherfucking catch weight. And at the same time saying that you'll come back to the weight class for somebody else, just not tank. You can't, bro, you not going to get all that. Which is why you just need to come out and be honest, bro. Niggas trying to wait to see if he lose to Regis or not. That's all it is. Trying to use shit as leverage. And capping their ass off all along the way. And mad that people see through. Now, Kenny Ellis said he wants the Shakur Stevenson fight. Because they the two top dogs. At 135 pounds. I agree with that, bro. If you ain't fighting Devin Haney next, I know, or then I would love the Shakur fight, but if Tank is coming back in January, it's rumored, we know them two ain't next. So whoever you fighting in January, better not be no goddamn pit bull. You just go ahead and you um and, and, and you make one of them fights for the summertime, bro, for the, for the spring or the summertime. But I ain't got no issue with what Kenny Ellis said. It ain't what Tank Davis is saying, because Tank ain't, ain't say that shit. He said they all got to see him regardless. All of them got to see him, which I agree with. He didn't specify a weight class or a stipulation or none of that shit. But as a fight fan, bro, if you want these fights, start holding people accountable to what you need to hold them accountable to. Tank Davis is accountable to when somebody is free and able to negotiate with him and they really want the fight then he needs to make that fight happen if that's the fight the fans want to see. All these other fighters that are saying they want to fight him and all this shit, bro, you dictate nothing. You can ask for shit. You dictate nothing. If you getting the highest payday that you ever got in your career, you ask for you ask for a weight class and you ask for this. If he say, no, this is the weight class we got to fight at, and you saying publicly anyway that you can make that shit, then, bro, you got to do what you got to do, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do to make that shit happen, bro. I'm not, I'm not finna keep keep giving these B side ass fighters excuses to duck out on smoke, bro. But then publicly say that it's somebody else or they trying to blame somebody else, bro. So that's what I think of Kenny Ellis' comments, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.